And the next thing I know, I saw somebody chasing and a policeman chasing him. Now with five new information surrounding a high-speed police chase and crash. Also, a major shakeup inside the Iowa State football program. Mark Mangino is out. We'll tell you what this means to the future of Cyclone football. And combined support. How once again, Iowa farmers come together in the fall to aid a fellow farmer in need. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. A stolen vehicle involved in a police chase plows right through someone's garage. Now, police say 22 year old Brandon St. Peter was behind the wheel. He is facing numerous charges. KCCI's Jason Rantala is live to show us how it all happened last night. The stolen car came right down this alleyway. It then hit this utility pole here. It's since been replaced. After that, it went right through this garage. You can see workers working and fixing it. As we speak, it hit a parked car in the process. Now, this not only knocked out power, it caused, as you can see, quite a mess for neighbors. There was something big in this neighborhood. A busted utility pole missing its lower half, and the ruins of what once was a complete garage. We heard a great kaboom. We looked out. Show the damage done by a vehicle out of control. While the garage wasn't his, much of it did end up in next door neighbor Neil Cleary's yard near 2nd and Ovid. The yard is a mess. There's bottles, there's all sorts of stuff from that garage, nails all over my backyard. I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. 9 30 Sunday night, the stolen Chrysler 300, now crunched up among rubble, is spotted by Des Moines police. Police pursue before the stolen car heads down an alley, striking a pole that knocked out power for hours and heading right through this garage. Somebody clearly was going at high speeds, you know, to clear through that pole and into the garage. Not only striking a parked car inside, but pushing it onto the next door neighbor's lawn. Police say the driver, 22 year old Brandon St. Peter, and passenger, 36 year old Brian Bishop, fled on foot before getting caught by police. St. Peter is facing theft, interference, and OWI charges. He admitted to the officers during the uh, OWI part of the investigation that he hadn't taken some drugs. Bishop facing harassment charges from an outstanding warrant. Cleanup was well underway by mid Monday morning as crews worked to restore lines on a brand new utility pole. Neighbors are now left to clean up what once was a garage full of antiques and memorabilia. The, the victims in this have uh, every right to expect that we're going to follow up on these investigations to get their property back. He admitted to police he had taken marijuana, ecstasy, and cocaine one hour before the accident. There were four people total in that car. Two were taken to the hospital, treated, and released. Live in Des Moines, Jason Rantala, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.